But but that had to be a hard one for you. Were you down there when that happened? I got I came immediately. You Man. came down to the country. Man, do you know I hated that whole city for a long time? I, I, I can so. imagine. Man. Wow. How did you get through it though, J Dow? I ain't over it. You yet. never got over it. I love the city. You know, uh Marshall. Yeah, I know exactly. Man. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. You know, getting back to it, man, like, when you think about, I think it was um, Lakeith, your cousin. Man. That was down in the country, wasn't it? Yeah. And and right, I, I think I had Rory. My yeah, when yeah you Rory, Rory uh, that was that was down on 43, I believe. Yeah, that's the club called 43. Yeah, it, it, well, it, it was Bawana back in the day. He been oh, on here. Yeah. I, I, the owner, I, I know all of My uncle built that club, yeah. meaning, you know, help. Feel it. Oh, do he know that that was my cousin? I don't. Life? I don't. I don't think we talked about that. I'm not gonna lie to you ever, but uh, but I guarantee you, it's been a lot of stuff going on down there, bro. That's a. I told him he the only dude that I know that had Millie Jackson and Mo Three. <laughs> Dealing with Luke when he first came yeah. out with all them songs that he rap, where he had to get the parental discretion on his on the CD. Yeah. You brought him, yeah. and you still dealt with Mo Three. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> That is that's a long wave of people, man. Yes. It's, like, what do people of, think when they come down there? Because that's all the way in the in country. The country. It, it, like it's in the it's, middle of it's, nowhere. Like, like y'all don't hear me. <laughs> you gonna just say, nigga? You had Millie Jackson and Mo Three and Mo Three. You had Millie Jackson, Two Live Crew, and Mo Three. You some know, some people, some people don't even know who Millie Jackson is. That's crazy. Yeah. So it's like so, but but that had to be a hard one for you. Were you down there when that happened? I got. I came immediately. You man. came down to the country, man. Do you know I hated that whole city for a long time? I, I, I can so. imagine, man. Wow. How did you get through it though, J Dow? I ain't over. You it never yet. got over. It. I love the city, you know. Uh, Marshall. Yeah, I know exactly, man. That one too deep, there, man. Because y'all grew up, y'all y'all was close. That's my first cut. I know. They beat him in the head with those metal ass country ass chairs and shit. Ooh. Mm -hmm. And so he was just down there at the party like we and we would be down there, man, so much. I seen so much down he there. With, he messed with them females like him. Yeah. And I guess he had talked to one female. Her dude came over, and that's how. It, you know I mean? That's what happened. I ain't gonna lie. I, I I fought in there nights. Hey, that's what we done down there. But it usually just yeah, was a scrap. That same yeah, thing. it usually just was a scrap. Yeah. But for you, you know, to go back home, it had to be a long ride back to Houston, well, man. Man, say. I mean, my mama couldn't even, you know. How old were you this time now when all this happened? Man, I don't remember. I had like in your twenties? Nah, I was way. You be younger than that. Young. Yeah. Oh, okay. 14, 15. Tell you, I started mm -hmm. going to that club when I was 11. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, that, yeah, that's how I go down down there. Yeah, that's... I'm talking about... Country you living. Wanna, yeah. You, you want to see no cars until you hit a certain back street. <laughs> and it'd be all... <laughs> cars car forever. Car back there, yeah. But. Yeah. Yeah. That's what you that, mean? Yeah, it's Carnac. That's where it's yeah, at. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what it is. But at the end of the day, just I thought about that. I said I was gonna ask that you about that on the mind. show because I know that, that that he was so close to you. Yeah, that blew my mind. You know, he's so he a different breed of person, you know, so to get beat to death, you know what I mean? It's just it do something to me right now, you know. Man. And you know, being one that, you know, like I said, again, anger takes a, it sits right there. As soon as that, something like that happens, it just sit there and wait on you to react again somewhere else. You know, we ain't, we, we, we ain't telling no proper tools how to deal with that. No, heck no. You know, they, if you go to a doctor, they just gonna call you bipolar and give you some Prozac. You know what I mean? It ain't like you gonna, you know. Man, and I hate to keep, but since I'm down there, uh, Bear, man, he was a part of stuff now. Yeah, that's my cousin. Yeah. And you know, you know, Bear. Uh, Anita's husband well, mm -hmm. was Anita's husband and you remember we went over there I sold him some stuff mm -hmm. I, you know I took stuff home I talked to him what, right before he passed clothing through. I would go down there and I'm gonna stop by there and they Time get him some shoes yeah. some whatever they need man cause that's my people so I was always gonna go there even though I had five stores out here mm -hmm. I still go home 
I always go home. I even had a store in Marshall for a little bit, but I would always take some down there for my people, bro. Yeah, they don't have nothing down there. No, mm-hmm. not like that. It was everything that's name brand and that's really nice. And that I mall make, closed to sell. Yeah, the mall closed. Shit, that mall didn't have nothing. It didn't have nothing when it was open, did it? <laughs> You better, you do so, better go to Walmart. But, but boy, when you think about Barrel, I want to I want to share some just 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 tell a Barrel story. You know, like 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 rapping with him or just hearing him. You, you know, know, that's my little cousin, man. So you know, uh, his mama and my mama was so close. It's to the point where everything since he was a baby, you know, we've been around each other. So with Barrel, you know, just. Even him telling me he want to rap it, hearing him for the first time. Who the realest, who the realest, who the motherfucker trillers? We each take his find it, so y'all boys got the color. Just, it was all amazing to me, you know. I'm like, damn, you can really rap. 65, I be getting my dough. Every day I spend money, so I gotta make more. You know, and he used to trip me out. I just can't believe he did. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. That was a surprise to us too, because yeah. we had, just, we, been we had just been down there and seen him, and it wasn't like he was sick, sick or none, none, of that. None, none, none of that stuff. He had told me the day before he had went to the hospital, and they sent him home. Yeah, you know. So when he said they sent him home, I'm thinking you get sent home, you're that already you good. good. Shit, the next morning, I get the call. Yeah, I remember. I remember, man. Um, I can't believe it. Couldn't believe it. His mom, his mom is like my was my favorite lady. Yeah, Maddie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But we're know, losing these people that are been that have been so close to you, and they're not old. These are young people. So many. How how does that mentally affect you and your life? I don't know. I don't know. All I all I know is most most of the time I sit back a year from you know. A situation and say, "Damn, look how it affected you." While I'm living it, sometimes you I'm, can't see it. But it, I go three, four years without want to be around nobody. Everybody, man, biggest problem with me is my phone. They're like, "Why you don't answer your phone?" I don't know when that started happening. It's not on purpose. I'm not looking at it. It's just like I got so disconnected with phones and people, and it was just like. I don't know. I got. I got to ask you about Mug, man. Man, I got to sure. ask you about it because you did that song. Hey. Say, check it out. If you don't love my motherfucking nigga, stop saying rest in peace, bitch. Right. Hey. But the song, when I listen to it, is like you really like angry. About so man, forever. You know what I mean? Yeah. So man, it was like it like. He was like, man, you know, like, you niggas ain't really, really. Because it's like the praying hand scenario. Yeah. Like, niggas just do that for fun. Yeah, man. Do you really pray for me? Try to move on too hard. You can pray every day, Lord, protect my squad. Where did we go wrong? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, when you see it, is you serious, you know? And, and it's crazy because Mug, man, this just gave me chills. Mug, when he probably... Probably a week before he died, you know, he was just going through it. You know what I mean? Mentally, I ain't know the answer. And I was like, man, bro, I wish it was something I could do. We best friends. Whatever you going through is in your head, though. So it's like it's nothing I could do mm-hmm. because it's in your head. For sure. And he said, you can pray. And I don't remember what I said, you know, answer, my answer to him, but it was a but before it. <coughs> Excuse me. That blew my mind. So did you did you get to pray for him or you didn't pray? Probably did. But I said something but And you don't like that part. I didn't know that I man, got you. You should have prayed right then and then stop pulled over. I didn't know it was that dangerous. Yeah. You know, yeah. I, and then Mug ain't Yeah, the thing not the that, type to, he not the type that you would think would kill himself, so you know. Yeah, and, and I know you 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 basically Try to figure it out with him for you to even be asking those type of questions. You know what I'm Man, saying? Insane. You know the words say uh, it talks about uh, casting down imagination and every high thought that or every high thing that brings itself against the knowledge of God. You know what I mean? Like your imagination, your mind, man, your metanoia, your mind can take you places, bro. And if you ain't got something to combat some of the thoughts that come up, bro, 
it gets real crazy. Yeah, I know it. And that's, that's, the, that's the worst jail I ever been in. Bam. You know what I mean? That point. Form. Yeah. That's why I always ask about mental state because a lot of times people don't think about how different things affect their life because they're just strolling through life and not realizing the reason why I acted out, the reason why I can't keep a girlfriend, the reason why, you know, there's different things is because of things that you haven't dealt with in your head mm. from past situations. Yeah, I can believe that. That's why I want people to stop for a second and really, you know, do a mental check, so to say. Yeah, I don't think I do that enough. I really believe that I'm, I'm tormented in my head sometimes. You know, it was a time just recently, if I fall asleep and have a dream, I got killed every single time. It was no other dream, you know, and it was crazy to me because I was thinking, like, trying to make sense of something like this, it's hard. You can't understand, like, you know, sometimes you try to figure out what is trying to be said here, but it ain't nothing you can Thank but you. just like at Jamaica, um, we always said dream don't walk straight. Meaning like a lot of times when we dream about things, it don't always happen exactly how we dream it. It's just just like in the Bible, Jesus spoke in parables. He never just told you exactly this is what mm -hmm. it's going to be, blah, blah, blah. So even whenever I, you know, hear people talk about dreams, I said there's a meaning behind it. Every dream has a meaning. It might not even be for you. You know what I mean? So right, don't take right. it to heart and feel like some people will do like what you said, like, Dream that and be like, oh my God, I'm going to die tomorrow. I'm going to There's too much of that, you know? Yeah. And they don't know how to live their life. They live their life in fear because yeah, of that's that. That's not living at all. Yeah, I mean, and, and the thing, I, I, not living at all. I, exactly. a lot of times we do use coping mechanisms, you know what I mean? Drinking, uh, smoking, whatever mm -hmm. we can to try to figure it out. And those things ain't nothing but pacifiers, really, and things that really, it. It, can't, it can't take the pain away. Ain't no answer. Mm -mm. Ain't no. Ain't, it ain't gonna do nothing. But pretty much, it it can, it can lessen the blow. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But the blow coming. Yeah. Yeah. You know it's coming. <laughs> it's coming. Yeah. It ain't. It ain't finna take it away at all. Just a small mm -hmm. cushion. Yeah. So what's the answer then? When it get to a point where that's what you're gonna say at the end of all that, and some people that's the, they can't go no further. When they when they done did all the drugging they can do, and they done did all the still no answer. Some people can't go no further. Yeah, you know that's I, real. I, I don't believe that was my partner problem when he killed himself, but you know I done dealt with a lot of suicide. Yeah, and most of them feel like they did everything they could do. And Tunnel really, vision. Yeah, they really feel like any option you can give them, they done win there, and wow. they can't take it no more. I can't see myself doing it to myself. I yeah, think the either. answer is just putting all your trust in God and say, you know, God, whatever you have for my life, that's what I'm, I'm mm -hmm. put all my trust in you because I don't know and you ain't telling me. So guess what? I'm just going to walk by faith and do everything right according to as much as I can mm -hmm. and keep it pushing. Like, why are you going to stress that's over something? You, you can't stress over it. something that you can't control. Some yeah. people don't even know they can talk to God like that, though. Mm -hmm. That's a whole challenge, opening up. Mm -hmm. Being able to open up like that it, because what? it's not easy, you know what I mean? Like, if you think about it, a lot of times, bro, if you ain't even, you know, it's a place where you got to hit rock bottom or you got to, I always call it your three days of dying. Mm -hmm. Like, like you got to go through this spot where nobody can help you. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? In order to even touch or either get, you know, to even touch or feel that spot where you're talking about where you can start to change. Mm -hmm. That ain't even the change. That's the place where you just turn in the curve. You see what I'm saying? You, that's yeah, that's just the start that. of it. I've been through that a couple of times. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.